Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salem. In this video, I'm going to talk about a string in MATLAB. A string is referred to the text. So what we need to know about the text or the string in MATLAB is the following three topics. The first one is how to define the string in MATLAB as a scalar, vector, or a matrix. Number two, how to know how many character kind of a letter for each string it means the text. Number three, how to concatenate strings. So if we have two words or one word with number, how to combine or concatenate these. Let's start the video. If we go in MATLAB, so we can write x equal to and then open double quotation. So to define the string, we need a double quotation. Hello world. And then press enter. So now the x is hello world, and this is scalar, and we can check the size is one word here. And also we can define like the vector for that. So we can say the vector is equal to, and then we can define between square brackets here, we can define whatever we wish always be between that double quotation. So I can write, for example, names, for example, my name, or like the John name, Or for example, like the Uki name, or I can define like Fujita name, any name. And when I finish, just press enter. So now I have a string with, for the name Victor, which with a size is one multiplied to four and type is string. And if I need to define the matrix, so what I need to say is just mat which equal to, and then define whatever I wish between the square brackets. For example, if I need to put the country name, for example, I can write Japan, and then USA between, of course, square brackets, and for example, semicolon to have the second row, and in the second row, we have here, for example, Canada, and the last thing is China and close the square brackets. Press enter. So now we have two by two strings and this is string. So all the element inside that is string. So now we know how to define scalar vector or matrix. But what if, if we need to know the length for character, how many character, for example, if we need to know how many characters in the x which equal to hello world. So if we count the number of letter in hello world, it will be 11, including the space. So if I just write a string, it coming from the first three letter from the strings, and then length. This is a function. What we write inside, for example, x, and then press enter. So the length for the x is kind of the 11 character. And not only for scalar, for example, in the vector, if I just write the string length of, and then I write the vic, and then press enter. So it gives me the how many letters for each word. For example, Salem is five, John is three, Oak is three, Mujita is six. So we have here five, three, three, six. And again, string length of, the matrix with name mat, it will give me 5365, which is 5 Japan, 3 USA, 6 Canada, and 5 China. So now we can know also how many characters for every scalar, vector, or a matrix string. So the, the, the next thing is, what if, if we need to combine two words? Let me clear the screen. So let me define the variable the first one which is t1 with the word with the word hello and t2 for the word worded and let me just i have now t1 and t2 what if if i need to combine both to have the word hello world so what I need to say is just to put plus sign. So I, I just need to write T1 plus 
and then T2. And if I press enter, I will have hello wallet. But in this sense, there is no space between hello and wallet. It's very easy. I can edit T1 to make it equal to and then hello, but giving space and then closing the double quotation, semicolon to suppress. Then I have T1 and then I can just write again T1 plus T2, press enter. I will have hello wallet with a space. So plus is giving the concatenation. But what if, if I need to say, for example, x is equal to 3. And then y is equal to a function of x. For example, I can say x square and then plus 2 multiplied to x. And then I can say plus, for example, 5. This is the y value estimated from x value, so now we have the y. I need to write when x equals something, y equals something. So what I need to say is write just a text which equal to what I need to say, for example, when x equal and then give a space and close the quotation and then plus so add x here the x is a number and then plus again and then I need to write y value will be and then close that one and then set and then y if I just press enter so I can see when x equals 3 y value will be 20 and because that I didn't give the space between y and the value of x, it's kind of it's kind of attached together. So I, if I need to add, just up arrow, and then here I will add one space and then press enter. So when x equals three, y value will be twenty. So this is kind of concatenating or combining like the text with the numbers. So the plus sign can be used to concatenate strain and number. So what we took in, in, in that video is three things. First, how to create the strings and what we need is just double quotation and for the vector and matrix we need to put them inside the square brackets. Number two, to know the length of the, like the, the, the character of the strings, we need to take the function which is string length which coming from the three words of string and the length. And the third thing is to concatenate two things. What we, what we just need to do is just put the plus sign, which could, could, could concatenate two strings or strings plus numbers. No problem for that. That's all for that video. Thank you. Bye-bye.